Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. And in this episode, I would like to explain EpiLASIK because this is a surface treatment similar to PRK but is less common. So if you remember the difference between PRK and regular LASIK, with PRK we just remove the cells from the surface of the eye and then put the laser treatment directly on the surface. EpiLASIK is a variation on this technique because we remove those cells from the surface of the eye, but we remove them in a different manner. Uh, to do this, we use a device called an epikeratome, and it can run across the cornea in a very smooth and controlled manner and lift these cells from the surface of the eye in a nice sheet. So once then we can push this sheet of cells back to the side and then we have a very clean and smooth area to treat with the laser. This probably leaves a more smooth and consistent surface behind than when we use PRK to remove the cells from the surface of the eye. With PRK this can be done manually or can be done with a laser but it probably doesn't leave as clean of a surface as it does with EpiLASIK. Now, once the treatment is finished, then there's two choices. One is to replace the cells, to move them back over on top of the cornea, or to remove them completely and then allow the eye to heal in more naturally like it does with PRK. Um, because of this, like with PRK, the cells have to heal from the outside towards the inside and close off the area where that epithelium or the surface is missing. If we replace those cells at the end of the procedure, then it's a little bit like a natural contact lens or a natural bandage over the eye where it can potentially make the patient more comfortable or allow to heal more quickly. Still we know, even though once these have been removed, they do need to be replaced and smoothed out by the stem cells that will recover the rest of the cornea, but we think that this uh, potentially could happen uh, more quickly in EpiLASIK compared to PRK. There's been studies to try and prove if this is actually more comfortable for the patients or if the healing is more quick, but I think all in all that the evidence shows they're probably about equal and one doesn't really stand out more from the other, at least that we can measure. So if you have any questions about this, uh, please post, we'll be happy to answer them. And in the next episode, we would like to talk about LASEK, L-A-S-E-K, because that is another variation on a surface treatment and also similar to PRK and EpiLASIK. So until next time, good health and good sight.